Hey nerds, welcome to Kenshi. Kenshi is a messy masterpiece. It's one part squad-based RPG, one part base builder, and a whole lot of sadomasochism. In this world, death is just the easy way out. The land is populated by many disparate factions vying for power. There are religious zealots who crusade to rid the world of any non-human race and treat women like cattle. They'll demand you always carry your holy book on you, or else you're a narco-loving heretic to be purged by Okrin's light, otherwise known as a giant metal blade shoved through your skull. There's the United Cities, who exist purely off of a slave economy, sending out manhunter squads to beat up, capture, and shackle anyone they think looks the least bit poor into an eternal life of servitude and starvation. We have strange and hostile wildlife that will hunt you down, rip off your limbs, and feast on your flesh. And they're not the only ones who find you delicious. You'll have your fair share of cannibals, too, who will gladly beat you up with sticks and gnaw off your leg for their meal. And these only scratch the surface of Kenshi's diversity landscape. Suffice to say, the world of Kenshi loves you. We're going back into Kenshi and putting my stream mascot waifu Pippi in harm's way in a permadeath run. While the world of Kenshi offers many interesting races such as the stick bug like hive, the warmongering shack, and the spooky scary robot skeletons, we're going to go through as a run of the mill Greenlander human. Pretty much average everything. The scenario we're starting with is the holy sword. Basically, we got a nifty sword. Really nice sword. It just sort of sucks that we acquired it like we did, as now both the Holy Nation and the United Cities want to hunt us down for our 20,000 cat bounties. How long will we survive? Who knows? I don't. Let's go. And here isn't dirt. Pippi. That's Pippi. So here are some of the rules just sort of vaguely described. This is permadeath. If she dies, we're done. The series is over. I'm probably going to start something else. And uh, my mascot is my, my fucking wife who's dead. That's, that's no fun. Number two, I am going to be avoiding going at like fucking multi times speed as much as possible. I've unbound it from some of my mouse keys to, you know, Make it so you guys can enjoy more. We're gonna have a bunch of uh, nice cinematic crap going on. It'd help if I actually set things up properly. Oh uh, yeah, that's always a thing. To start off, I'm not gonna be hiring anybody. I think that's just a little bit too easy. I have mods installed. If you want a list of the mods, they're going to be in the description of the video. Go ahead and go down there and check it out. All right, this little part here is going to be me editing some like key binds and whatnot, so just cut this out of the video. Doesn't she look pretty? Isn't Pippi a pretty girl? I mean, the texture is a little bit annoying, but then again, this game is more gritty than super anime kawaii, so we got we got dark, depressed Pippi in this world. And these are some mercenary guild fucks. I don't know if they'll come after me, actually. We uh, have a 20,000 bounty in both the United Cities and the Holy Nation. To give you an idea, just because I have knowledge, the Holy Nation controls pretty much all of this shit. L essentially anything with Okrin in the name is Holy Nation territory. They are fighting up here repeatedly. This is a lot of United Cities territory, but they're more scattered. I'm pretty sure they have some cities down south and whatnot too. So effectively, I'm wanted in what is probably more than half of the goddamn map. So we're gonna have some fun with that. We also do not start with great stats. To give you an idea, uh, Kenshi the max for your stats is like a hundred and by that i mean it's exactly 100 it's not like a hundred uh and we start with some things even in the negatives for example katanas at negative two which is the only weapon we have melee attacks at negative one which definitely affects our shit our strength is negative one we can carry even less this is funny to me let's look at our equipment not, not our, not our stats, our equipment. So Pippi here has a standard medical kit with most of its charges available. Charges get consumed as you use the like health kits on healing people's limbs and whatnot. And eventually this will just not exist anymore once I run out of charges. So that's fun. We have a sort of basic set of ninja rags. Shoddy grade is sort of like standard grade to be honest. Um. We gain some benefits to our stealth, 
our dodge, our dexterity, and our assassination, along with melee attack buffs and martial arts bonuses with this, so it's pretty good to start off with, and we're probably going to be keeping this for a while, but it offers, like, nothing as far as actual, like, damage resistance anything, like, 5% resistance to blunt attacks, like pipes and shit, and 8% resistance against, like, blades, with, like, a 50% efficiency, and... While it covers most of the body, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not actually armor, armor. It's not good armor, armor. The step, the, like, skill buffs are mainly what we want with this. And then we have some ninja pants, which give a little bit more of a stealth effect, but have absolutely no armor whatsoever. We have no shoes, no shirt, and no headwear. So this is, this is what we look like. We're running around, not even with straw sandals. That's great. Oh, dear lord. I wish I could hire people already. We have a fucking... <laughs> we have a goddamn... This, this is one of the skeletons. I... I'm pretty sure you're a drifter. So if I got enough money together, I could hire this fuck. I could hire you too! Damn it, I could serve with like two... Two robot friends. This never fucking happens. What is this shit? I only have a hundred cats to my name. I mean... I could sell this sword. Oh yeah, I forgot to show off. This is the Nadachi. This is the reason why I have 20,000 cat bounty on my head. This is like a master grade sort of fucking badass sword katana that we're going to be using. Like I can sell it for half of my bounty's cost. That's how valuable it is. Rather, it's technically worth more, but you know, video game economies, you can't sell things at value most of the damn time, especially when it wants to kick you in the gut. Uh, but yeah, this is the hub. Welcome to our starting town. This is the starting town in, like, the basic scenario and in this scenario as well. Why is this locked? Like, I'm pretty sure nobody's gonna care. I'm just gonna stealth in case. Well, this will serve to get my lock skill up a little bit. I feel like this is actually some sort of glitch with my mod set. Right, you know what? This is gonna take 20 years. I am going to actually multi-speed it for this. You can probably already see why. So, by walking in areas that are populated with, you know, like actual NPCs that can potentially see you that aren't part of your party, you slowly build up stealth. Uh, you have to build up athletics, which directly affects your run speed as well. And there are a lot of other things. You have, like, no athletics, so we really... Like, even if it were just, like, a simple squad of bandits, we couldn't really outrun them. Oh, yeah! Here are some of the slave traders that I was talking about before. Manhunter bastards. Yeah, if, if, if they think I'm a slave or something, or, like... I'm poor as fuck, they'll probably just, you know, beat me up and send me to slavery. That's great. Uh, they probably won't do much this close to a town, though. Like, towns are slightly safer, not guaranteed. What we're going to do for now, and for, like, a good, decent bit of time, is probably mine copper. But first... I'm going to set Pippi some do- well, one job, essentially, to medic. A.K.A. if she has nothing else that I've ordered her to do, she's going to patch herself up. And I'm also going to give her the job of mining this copper. Uh, the job system lets you set regular tasks. Effectively, like, I can just tell her to go mine this instead and not make a job out of it. But if I then tell her to stop doing stuff, her- Default will be to first heal if she needs to, and then go mine at this copper. Mining is related to the laboring stat. Oh hey, Garu, we got some wildlife. Garu are some of the herbivores in the world. You got fucked up, pal. How are you doing? Ow! Some of our first aid up a little bit and go help out this wildlife Garu. Yeah, Pippi, Pippi likes seeing good wildlife. You know what, this this Garu here is hurt, and it's nice enough to let me patch it up. Partly doing this because it'll get my medic up. Partly doing this because I think Pippi would. Poor little guy, his leg hurt. Now go catch up with your Garu family, okay? Field medic just like any other stat raises over time from doing more of it. The slavers are running around in the background. Most of this is just going to be me. We don't have a backpack on Pippi. 
which means that we don't have any additional storage space nor a means of storage where items stack on top of each other. So this is the maximum storage space we have and it's going to be really heavy. Like we're already moderate and we haven't even filled it halfway. That's part of why we need to get our strength up. I may just wind up running around and try to build up her strength too, but hey, details. The hub is sort of an interesting place. It has some lore behind it, which is essentially like the Holy Nation tried to hold this place for a while, multiple times, I think, and they fucking couldn't. So effectively, they think this place is cursed and don't try and hold it, which, uh, to be fair, yeah, sure, why not? One thing I'm probably going to do is I'm going to get my backpack filled up or my pockets effectively filled up to the brim with copper and then walk around for a while. Uh, to try and build up my strength, because that's one of the ways you can do it, and as of right now, I have negative one strength, so I definitely want to do that. I have some minor goals in mind, things that I've not done in Kenshi, that I would really like to do. Number one, there is a rather mythical character in the Kenshi community named Beep, who I have never met. I have a vague idea of where I think he might be, but I wanna find him and recruit him and figure out why everyone loves the motherfucker so much. Number two, I wanna kill something called a Leviathan. They're massive. I'd need like a fully decked out mega squad. So I'm looking forward to giving that a try. Number three, I'd like to destroy the holy nation because fuck them, the misogynistic pricks. They don't even like skelly people. They don't like bug people. They don't like shecks. Racist and sexist. Hey,